Hey guys, Jesse McDougall here today with the Martial Arts of Money, and I got a good, good clip for you guys today, okay? This is gonna be creative, off the cuff, just like I do, long form, but uh, I'm definitely ahead of the curve this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do focus on the mind muscle, and I'll show you proof of how the mind muscle works. And other people will look at you that you're weird or something there's something wrong with you when reality is you're just working out a new part of your mind that you haven't worked out before if you're not sure what i'm talking about i'm talking about writing okay <clears throat> and pictures and art stuff like that and so um for me just for the 20 years of uh, mixed martial arts that i've been doing i've got to learn multiple uh, fighting systems, right? And I'm good at multiple fighting systems, like really good. And so that's the cool thing I liked about MMA because it's, um, I don't want to be, I want no weaknesses. I want no weaknesses. And people, sometimes they ask me like, well, what was your, what was your weakness in fighting? I'm like, don't have one. <laughs> there are no weaknesses. <laughs> There's only strengths. <laughs> And uh, so that's the championship mindset, okay? And I'm, I'm dead serious, I think that way. People joke about it or whatever, like, no, this is the championship mindset. We have to win, man. Because especially, I like how it's coming out for me in my case in the martial arts of money and the powerhouse method is because I'm transferring this high income toolbox of experience. I'm passing that, giving it away basically right now to one person in every country around the world. If you want to be mentored by me, just get a hold of me and, uh, and you're in, you need a computer. Uh, you might, you need, you need some money. You have to have something. If you've got nothing, I'll still mentor you and whatever. But, um, if you have nothing, okay. If you're one of those people that has nothing, okay. You got no cash, you got four babies and all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, if you don't have any cash, that's fine. You just has, have to understand and trust me, the Lord, Jesus, Jesse, <laughs> that um, you're in good hands here. You're in safe hands, okay? See those things on the wall? They don't just give those away for free, okay? Those cost money every year just to keep up there. 1500 bucks a year I gotta pay just to keep those on the wall. That's before I even have one customer. So get back to this mind hack stuff. Um, where is it? Yeah, okay, all my books here. So this is, my, I was because I went through, when I retired from uh, professional MMA, uh, I went through a very creative phase. I was having like multiple uh, gains, mental gains. My PhD friend said to me, get out of the way. <laughs> and so I've, I just started writing and so here's been a huge principle of mine. <laughs> Get out of here. Go play outside. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Quality means doing it right when no one's looking, Henry Ford. And so that's me. I do everything right from like, it takes me longer to do things, but I'm building infrastructure. Like if you look at what's on my computer right now, right? This is all infrastructure. Well, that's just IRC in the directory of my whatever. But no, I was setting up media wiki. Okay. So we've got quality doing it right. And then we had this one offensive operations, like where I went because in entrepreneurship, you got to understand this is like 20, 30 years, 40 year game you're playing, right? So your mind is going to go through different phases in a types of rotation based on the energy that comes into your life. But no mistake, you're going to need offensive framework in your business. And if you don't have offensive framework in your business, you probably should call me because I can insert you with some offensive framework, okay? And there's two ways we can do that. Uh, you can pay me money and I'll do the work for you, but it's gonna be, you're gonna pay me decent. You're not gonna pay me like some scrub, you know what I mean? Uh, on the other side, if you wanna do the work yourself, and which I suggest you do, because that way you're investing these skills into your company. So I'm giving these skills. I want to inject these skills I have into your company. It's money-making skills. So we just don't have to get like <clears throat> too deep into the details here or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is when I'm just 
this is just me being natural. Like I'm just naturally doing this stuff, right? And this is what helps me uh, study. This is what helps me um, visualize. This is what helps me manifest. See your CPM. This is the biggest thing you want to know. Cost per click and uh, clicks per thousand email sent. Those that is the biggest thing you want to know in email. The biggest thing. So, anyways, I've got books of this stuff, right? And it goes through like sometimes I like draw, and I'm not always. And I'm also um, writing with both hands here too. So if if you're going through this type of uh, Oh, the other thing I got was, yeah, here we go. And this is more the ninja mindset, right? Oh, I got this map here because I'm trying to get time zones all over, dealing with people all over the world and try to build my business is quite confusing. To be honest for me, like I, I got that kind of stuff to do. So these here, uh, Black Widow pencils. So I saw them on, uh, oh yeah, this is cool. This is cool. So I don't want to show you, look. And so you get into the different colors, right? And your own form, and it comes out in here. <laughs> so if you are gonna, um, and I already know this. So I know there are a lot of people that write but I also know there's a lot of people who don't write. And I know more people haven't written to the level that I've written. And therefore, they haven't worked their mind to the level that I have. And they should. <laughs> it's super important. Super important. But uh, the one, and the ed education systems are amazing. Like, they're awesome. But uh, the one thing I didn't, uh, I'm noticing from my apprentices is everyone wants creative freedom. That's what they want. And I've had that like my entire life pretty much. <laughs> but I don't know that, right? I'm just learning this stuff as I go. So here's an interesting one, okay? This is, this is where money's made. So if you're listening right now, this page, you wanna take a screenshot of that and study that and figure out what the crap I'm talking about and you'll probably make money. Yeah, this landing page here, Alex Becker said in one of his videos, tens of millions of dollars right here. This is where tens of millions of dollars comes into your pipeline. You wanna know where the money is? It's right there, right there. Okay, so you wanna have, before you take a campaign and bring it to market, you wanna have four different landing pages. One, two, three, four, boom, okay? And on Facebook, you wanna have 30 different ad sets, which is just a picture or, an, or an, a video whatever, uh, buy the ad from the traffic from Facebook and they go right to your landing page or like it's, things are changing. This is not like, you got guys got to understand it. This is, this is not, this is changing all the way this, and it's always going to change. So that's why you got to be on top of stuff. And that's why I'm talking about investing in skills versus, and I, I like taking an educational approach to this stuff now versus the more, uh, like gold fever, people just want money, money, money. Because like when people are just like money, 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 but they're not making good decisions. Like you have to have a good offer, man. You have to have a good offer. So here I'm saying four dollars for one opt-in, and you can buy opt-ins from here. So if I got money, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, Taboola, Opt Intelligence, Udemy, LinkedIn, and affiliates. And it says here, a uh, small, even a uh, acorn empire, even a small acorn can turn into an empire. And that's what I'm doing. And it's not for like rah, rah, me and blah, blah, blah. It's just, no, this is good work. Like I'm doing the good work. I'm working through the Lord here. You know what I mean? So this is a useful page. I actually come to this page quite often. Okay. So if you're, oh, I probably should probably take a picture of this. These are the different, uh, so the internet, okay? What is, what is the internet? Now, who's an internet? It's a piece of technology. It's called HTTP protocol. Hypertext, trans, it doesn't matter, it's HTTP, okay? And so 
um, when you're sending data between HTTP on HTTP uh, through different websites, you get these different 200 is good, the page loads, this one redirects somewhere else, this one is a bad request, and I did something wrong, so it's something on my end, like this end. Uh, this side is, they have a problem. So I've referred to this quite a few times. Yeah, quite a few times. Okay, so this is all offensive framework. Yeah, I was like figuring out this freaking mount stuff. Like, just like, so I got a lot of this stuff too, guys. I uh, um, I just learned Linux like two uh, two years ago, but I was all I've been using Linux for like a server. I've always had a server for like I don't know seven years or so. But I did, up until two years ago, I didn't know Linux had a general user interface. I thought you could only use it in the command line. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so when i figured out you could have like a user interface on linux i was just like whoa it's like going from like dial up to high speed now to fiber yeah i'm glad um i'm glad i invested in people keep asking me why do i just uh in here's my server what is it it's a computer that's what a server is <laughs> it's that simple like i've been building computers for 20 years 25 years and people are always like why do you do it that way and my neighbor who works at uh what's his name salesforce uh i'm doing a bare metal server that's what i'm running just no bullshit don't need anything blah 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 bare metal go right because that's the time we have to create and bring um content to the marketplace Oh, this is cool. So, yeah, so I see in like, uh, I call them revolutions. So the, the energy goes in revolutions in your life. It's going to go. So there's different phases. And I learned this from Musashi. And then you can recognize these phases. I just call them energy right now because they just come sometimes. Like, for example, guitar is a good one. Right now, because my guitars are up here, I'm not going to play them because my woman just cleaned them and... I don't, she took off my straps. I'm really PO'd, right? So, because I don't want to make a thing because here's what people do. They make things out of like, not things. So they create work out of something that's going to not bring them money. And I don't like that. I can't, I have uh, kids on the, on the way. I need to get paid for what I'm worth. I'm definitely, my friends told me two years ago, they're like, man, you should be making way more money than you are. I'm like, yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep moving forward. And that's what you have to do. Because, uh, well, the cool thing is I found peace, eh? So I've got peace. Yeah, last week I actually found, like, total, utter peace. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. So here's the truth. Oh, I pay people, I can pay people 25 cents per click. So I've got a bottleneck to, on Hoped in Media right now that I'm working on. I'm just waiting on another tech. And, uh, yeah. Okay, that's that one. That's Offensive Framework. So now if you can appreciate the, the number of man hours that went into this, right? and then into your own creation. And here's the thing, as I look at these things often, I refer to them quite often, I've got another one somewhere too, or that's the martial arts of money. The martial arts of money is actually 624 pages. <laughs> and it doesn't suck. I'm not, I'm not saying it's like, you know, gonna, it's got the potential to crush it, but I can't do that alone. But everyone says, if you can just build everything yourself, that's the way to go. Is it really? I'd rather like, you know, give other people percentage in the deal. I'll take less. They can, I see when you work with me, I give away more than I receive, right? So I always give you more money than I receive in my, in my pocket from our business relations. Cause I don't, I don't care that much about money. 
I just want enough so I don't have to worry about it. And I already got that figured out. I just got to survive the next 20 years. I'm set up financially uh, long-term, big time. So that's why my demeanor is a bit different when it comes to certain things. Penny, get out of the way. Cool, yeah, I'm writing with both hands here. Oh, okay, this was uh, this was uh, quite a few years ago, actually. I think four years ago now. No, dude. Okay, well, let's wrap this up here. Um, that, so basically, that's what uh, training your mind muscle is, and it's woo, 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 it's save you thousands of dollars. Just get those pencils I was telling you about, those Venom pencils or whatever, and get yourself a booklet, and just start writing, just start flowing, don't start drawing, like, get your thoughts out um, through the pen. Do it, and it's great. It's a stress relief. But it's also like you're growing, you're getting smarter, you're going to live longer if you have a stronger brain. So do you want to live longer? If the answer is yes, and you, you, you don't actually write, start writing. What do you want to write about? Just start writing. It doesn't matter. It's your path. You get to create it. And that's the cool thing about the creator side. Um, now that I'm really tapping into seeing how like actually valuable that is, right? Like if you can create things and then market them and then host the marketing for that, like, yeah. So I've been saying, I've been sitting on a gold mine here for seven years. And the crazy thing is I've always had like the, what I'm doing now, the, the software I'm using, I've had for seven years. And so, <clears throat> So I had a business partner before, right? And we have a business partner. He does half the work and I do half the other work. And I don't do his work and uh, that's just how it works. So uh, the last two year, three years, I've been having to learn all his stuff, right? But to like way next level. And it's cool, it's been great, it's awesome. I just uh, need a couple of clients and uh, get the powerhouse method going and uh, yeah, the sales should be coming in. And the thing is, here's the, here's the truth, guys, is I'm freaking selling my course like way low compared to what other people are like. This is just gonna, like, I think we got a home run here. <laughs> I'm not joking, right? Like, and I want to mentor one person out of uh, each country in the entire world. And I would prefer to do that before I got to go make money just to be like heroic Jesse. But you got to put that heroic shit down. You got to make money. So you balance the two, right? Yeah, we already got six apprentices. So we've got you know, a little squad here going. We've got some going. These guys have all come together for a common purpose. They all have um, Orca computers installed on their servers. And yeah, now I, it's my job as a leader to onboard them. But I'm noticing a lot of them aren't really taking action. I mean, they are... Yeah, two of the guys aren't really, uh... okay, yeah, whatever. So, uh... yeah, that'd be cool though, eh? But I think of this as a business deal too, like <clears throat> the profit side of it, because I have the infinite scalability. So I've already built that. You guys don't, how do we scale? How do we 10X, bro? It's like, we, we, we can do that. So we need to talk more beyond that kind of type of conversation. Yeah, I really just need to, uh, well, here, here's the cool thing with the apprentices. Um, it's just a good trade-off. Like this is out of the wealth of nations, right? This is, I adopted 
the wealth of nations wisdom into my business through apprentices. And this is my version 3.0. Remember, this isn't the first time I'm gonna make money or the second, it's gonna be the third. Uh, and it's gonna be great because I came into this industry to build a company. You're building a business, like not getting like the fancy widget and the hoopla. And the <laughs> but uh, it's just kind of what it is. Yeah, and it's a, it's, I see a lot of people lose a lot of money because of a lack of education, lack of financial IQ. And so that's why I have to step as a leader because if I don't say anything and if I don't do anything, if I don't teach people my skills, like that makes me like kind of a selfish coward, to be honest, because the knowledge gets passed down from generation to generation in threes. So like we got the older people, they give us the wisdom, like guys my age, and then guys my age give the guys 10 years younger, just, we just bro down and they just, it's a transform of energy. And... And that really works. I've adopted that in my life for years, years. I want to try to um, have I don't know who it is. So I give my number out all the time <laughs> on the internet and stuff. And like people call, I don't answer. <laughs> like, Why you said you go? Yeah, okay, so putting a deal together. Pfft. Wait, we're talking about mental mental hacking and mental mind. Yeah, you're still working your mental mind by doing a videotape and like talking to yourself, even though the book's gonna listen to it. So that's why I do a lot of podcasting because the podcasting, uh, and I started doing it for to have a creative outlet to express myself. Because if I don't express myself, sometimes I end up in jail because I beat people up and I really like beating people up. I'm really good at it too. <laughs> so, yeah. But no, my days uh, since the retired, uh, since I retired, the, the next day I started reading the, the Art of War. And the first thing was uh, win without fighting. It's like, what? I've been, I've been, I'm a fighter. I've been fighting for 20 years, right? And so, uh, that's where you kind of transition away from less barbaric and warrior uh, and trying to be the best out of the 0% in the world of all humans that will ever experience a locked octagon. Let alone get a victory with someone who has 26 more fights than him, 30 more fights than him professional fights and I knocked him out in 30 seconds guy was a tool he was a bum I was pissed when I had to fight him <laughs> until my coach kid uh my coach kid lightning was like he's like what is wrong with you he's like, you need to check your head like this guy is here because he thinks he's getting an easy fight and he's gonna dummy you you think this is he thinks you're an easy payday I'm like he's, he's a moron then <laughs> like it's <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the uh, <clears throat> podcasting is good for anchor for mental uh, creative outflow and then doing just videos like this that nobody's going to watch. Uh, but I've been doing this for years. <laughs> right? I don't know, I got like 167 followers. So I do want to get a, um, I want to hit a thousand subscribers. That way I can stream live to the world instead of like me looking at me with a, freaking phone in my face, you can see my desktop and I can just do fucking computer shit, right? What's this and that? Oh, and the googly thing and the <laughs> and I'll do it on live stream too. And like, I'll just help people live stream, like just set them up, give them a free, e I can give out free email addresses, anyone in the world. For all the galaxies that exist in all the eternity, I can issue an infinite amount of IPs. I mean, uh, emails, email addresses. So, uh, I'll say this. So this is me working my mind muscle, just getting my energy out here and just being my true self, my authentic self. And that's what people resonate with. And that's how you close business. And if people don't like you, they're not going to do business with you. People do business with people they know, they like, they trust.
Yeah, so the business side, let's talk quickly here about that. This is big money. I'm sitting on a freaking gold mine. Like, I'm tired of, like, not being heard. It's like, but it's like, I got to realize I got to pipe down because, like, my whole plan was always to be, like, the coolest guy you never heard of. Like, I just want to be the invisible man with, with just cash. Just, like, the boss. Like, what do you do, bro? I'm like, boss. Like, what's that? <laughs> like, business. <laughs> like, that's pretty vague. Yeah. Business is pretty binary. You either generate a profit or you don't generate a profit. That's it. The rest is all non-revenue stuff, blah, 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 to take off your the sale. So for every dollar that goes into the corporation, how much money ends up afterwards, for, after all expenses? And so the thing that's super cool about the industry you're going in, if, you, uh, if we ever work together or if we're in the, the same industry, which we probably are. Is you can get customers, man. And like, once you know the stuff that I'm like teaching you, like I'm like taking like my military standpoint, like I'm building this, uh, the next level terracotta army. That's what I'm doing. I'm like me and my apprentices talk about this. <laughs> and like, why it gives me a sense of purpose. And there's tons of money here, right? And who the hell, who else is doing that? So it's not really about that. It's just how it's coming out naturally. And that's the thing I really like because it's not me being arrogant or rude or whatever. It's just, this is what's what. Like, this is what happens when you push me to a corner. But I realized before I even took the field in entrepreneurship, I already won. I already won two times. Like two levels, people can't, their brains can't even process. Um, yeah, I won because I had real estate property before even became an entrepreneur. And then before I sent one email marketing campaign, I bought a $30,000 piece of email marketing software. And then I bought uh, a data platform. It gets in feeds, you get these feeds coming in. It's where the data comes in, get like hundreds of thousands of uh, data coming in the feeds. So that's the whole called the co-registry. Uh, and the other piece of software I have is Hoped in Media, my affiliate platform. And that's where the powerhouse method is going to come in. It's going to come in. It's going to, I'm going to see how, this is cool. Like I'm all like, I'm realizing like, okay, I bought everyone's in my life or whatever in the past people in your journey, they're going to like distract you. They're going to try to take you away from what you need to be focusing on. And you don't understand it at first. You don't. But when you get deep into your process, like I'm seven years into my entrepreneurship journey, like 100% deep, balls deep. So you recognize patterns over time. And that's one thing I'm just complete ninja at is recognizing patterns. <clears throat> like I see things just people don't see. And that's okay. And other people do see it, but like I see things that most people don't see, like more than most people don't see. And that's starting to make sense to me now. Um, so yeah, and I'm kind of like a bridge guy. I'm not like, uh, because I don't like seeing people left behind, right? Because the truth is, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of fighting. This could be just my DNA in me. I'm kind of like fighting for my, my life because uh, I'm a Neanderthal. I'm I'm like ninety five more sorry ninety five percent more Neanderthal than all other humans. It's fact science, right? So it makes sense. I'm in my foxhole now, and I'm I, now that I'm looking back and doing a lot of like uh, timeline therapy healing. Is reflection. Does it make sense? Because I've always liked to be isolated, right? I always like to. My, my whole motto in life was hit hard, talk later till I was 30. Yeah, so uh, getting back to the deal <clears throat> on Hoped in Media, I'm go here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give away, okay, so for... The powerhouse method, it's a thousand bucks. I give you six months of love. Computer work, science work, you follow the process. Let's see if you suck or not. That's it. You need money to buy. If you want to like scale and blah, 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 you need 20 grand. If you want to like go to a mill, 
You're not going to go to a mill if you don't have 20 grand. Okay. You're just not, but you can, uh, learn how to make a living and then, uh, serve other people, uh, and make some money on affiliate marketing. And I've got everything. You don't need to need to worry about. Just don't go. You don't need to research anything. You just, like, just don't like, don't send me stuff that you've researched. Like, dude, don't. Not interested. So, yeah. So we're gonna put uh, uh, the powerhouse method on hoped in media, and I'm gonna give away. I'm gonna pay pay people three hundred and thirty three dollars. They make a sale. I don't know, and here's, boom, here's all my content, right? I've got content for crazy hours. And so you can, because I was, I, you know, sometimes I watch my content, and this is what you can do for your content, and you just make like little, because I do all long forms, eh? Because uh, people don't do long form because uh, the insecurity, because after the shiny, shiny, and the glitz and glamour, and the camera goes off, and the script is over, you see their insecurity, through the camera because they're not sure what to say because they're not confident of themselves because they don't have any money. And so you can recognize that. Me forever, I've uh, me, I've always been long form. Like I just, I throw it all out there. I am who I am. This is who you're getting when you deal with business. I'm a real person, right? And these are my areas of expertise. My friend said last night in our meeting, he, uh, He's like, oh yeah, well, Jess, you're a renaissance man. And I'm like, that's what my uh, f my friend Colin, the PhD guy said. He's like, yeah, you're a renaissance man. I'm like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> and Eric's like, he's like, yeah. Um, in Toronto, people would know what that is. It's like, oh yeah, he's a renaissance man. Like, yeah, it's cool. Like, cause you're on like more educated humans versus, um, you know, where I'm from, right? Yeah, it's just in the mix. Because he's around the money, right? You gotta be around the money. So then another here's uh, another tip is uh, in the money game, just go, go near the money. The closer you are to the money, you increases your chances of getting the money and winning in business. But see, I'm, an, I'm all a digital guy, eh? I've got my, co my corporate experience uh, auditing and uh, the controller of a couple places, but I'm all digital. Just, I know how to do make autopilot money. Here, oh, oh my computer's froze. Okay, maybe we'll wrap it up here, guys. Uh, I enjoyed actually doing this podcast. So, oops, here, let's see. So, so this is just me being in isolation. Uh, isolating myself from the entire world, making sense out of all this internet stuff. All of it. I won't even show you my research and development box. Actually, it's right there. Just flooded with stuff that, you know, I notice people, everybody wants to learn foxhole. I bought this when I was moving in the foxhole because I knew I was going to need it because <laughs> I knew it was going to be tough moving in here. All these are the seven chakras. I totally forgot I did this. <laughs> and you can actually feel these at different times. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, it, this is me. Uh, humans data pi. Okay, yeah, this is the data flow here. So these are your opt-in lists, okay? And this is what you need money for. You need cash to buy data from... Facebook and other places into your funnel. And that's jab, jab, hook. And then just repeat uh, and then for 90 days and then just with your long-term value. And as long as you generate more revenue here, that's your money day right there. Then the ads you, that you bought in, you're winning. You've, you're good to go. Now, hopefully you got a good offer because you want to build something that's scalable because you want to pump to a million because the goal is you want to get to a million because only 4% of businesses reach $1 million in revenue. 
Yeah, these chakras are important. Okay, I did a lot of writing here. I remember this book. Yeah, this one was all writing. Both hands, too. I like the blue stuff. Oh, this one's cool. Yeah, I liked writing in blue because blue, so blue is a healing color. Uh, the water, I'm wearing it right now, actually, my jacket. Uh, water is true north and it rejuvenates you. So that's why ice cold showers are good. I don't do them anymore because I'm too much of a pussy. I like my comfort. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's good for you to do it. And you don't have to do crazy cold water. You just, it's not supposed to be... Um, Painful cold, it's just uncomfortable cold. Okay. Crazy. Crazy. I just want to start like, I want to, I don't know. <laughs> just, I'm sitting on a lot of money here, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> So I just want to, I don't really care about that. I do, I got to care about it, but I'm not, that's not my intention. The mission is to pass skills on to as many people as possible. So here I was uh, measuring out the length of my park. I went through a phase last year with my, seeing how far I could hit my pitching wedge. Oh, I see the tree of Jesse. Um, okay, this is where data comes in. So in the tree of Jesse, I have all these different like forward slash Jesse, forward slash YouTube, and they ha it redirects it to another link. And so, but the reason why I do that is because it's lightning fast. There's nothing faster. You don't, people are using plugins and all. <laughs> Just use the computer. You don't need a plugin. Oh, you're getting plugins because you don't know how to use the computer. Well, in the internet powerhouse, we teach about how to use computers relative to like making money and bringing purpose to the world. And this is the speed of my internet here, 300 megabytes down, 30 megabytes up. It's not bad. I had like way better, but I paid a thousand dollars a month. And it was totally not even needed. Just didn't even need it. So yeah. Okay, all right, guys. We are gonna wrap it up. So uh, just give me I mean, a couple minutes here for a couple sales pitches of me um, for me. So I gave you thirty five minutes of just absolute creative value. Um, so I don't know how many courses you can take or whatever that you're gonna meet someone that can talk like me that has my experience. Um, a lot of people say they do, but no, nah, they don't. Anyways, I'm not hating on other people. I just got to be competitive. I got to get paid too myself, right? So the first thing is if you could uh, follow me on YouTube, that'd be fantastic and help me get to 1,000 subscribers. That'd be deadly uh, because then I can stream to the world again, like I said earlier. And then the second thing is buy Powerhouse Method. Like, why wouldn't you? Uh, what's been on my mind lately is uh, people going to computer science. Before you do that, buds, take the powerhouse method. Fraction of the cost, you'll get infinite value. Pretty confident on uh, the value that I'm bringing to people. Like, it's already working. Um, my apprentice in Puerto Rico, guys improved his skills like mad. So it's like, as long as you're coachable and you can follow direction, and like do things you don't know how to do and learn, you got a good shot. You need, and, and you have 20 grand, well, you got a good shot at making a mill, bud, in revenue. And in our industry, pretty much, if you run a company well enough, 70% uh, profit margin. So say that to your old, your dad or whatever, who's running, blows my mind, the millions of people spend and the small profit margins they get from it. <laughs> and then I'm just like, well, I got all digital stuff here and it all produces profit. So, but it takes work though. So no matter who you talk to, uh, in your journey and business and blah, 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 it takes work. So I just want to talk more about the work than the, than the, 
Summit and the Hula and all this. I don't know whatever this is, stuff is. Like, I just don't get it. Because, um, like, you want me to go to an event, you can pay me to go to an event. You know what I mean? I'm not the, the consumer. I'm the, you know, I'm a pioneer of the industry. And uh, I have to just say that stuff as a leader. And other people are going to hate me that have way more money than me. And they, like, make fun of me because I have no money. But I have freedom and happiness and peace. And I have more money than most people on earth. And that's never going to change. So I'm like, it's all good. <laughs> There's no problem. Let's just get to work. Right? Unless you want to give me cash. And so the trade-off for me with The Apprentices was, uh, it just made sense because all the, the years of martial arts, like I've seen, the, the martial arts places are businesses. Okay? And these guys are, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so... <laughs> Martial arts is martial arts, okay? It's not like, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. It just, uh, it's, yeah, it's cool, but it's, it, it's an obsolete skill set, like physical confrontation. Like, I mean, holding your own in the street is one thing, okay? So feeling safe and protecting yourself is one thing. That's why everyone needs to know martial arts, women included, like, uh, and then what it does with your mind body connection is like, that's how you become high performance. Just your 10, but yeah, yeah, that's that. I'm kind of glad the way, uh, the martial arts journey ended for me. But it's, it's not. So mine is just evolving, right? Like it's not, that's what people don't understand is martial arts is not just the fight in the ring. <laughs> it's not, it's way beyond that. <laughs> way beyond that. And so if you're a true martial artist, like I am, uh, John, Van John Claude Van Damme was like my <laughs> hero growing up. <laughs> He's <a> total cokehead. <laughs> He's still pretty cool though. I watch his videos and stuff. He's awesome. Watch him on Instagram. He's just doing weird shit. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, so working the mind muscle. So I can tell uh, this video went 40 minutes today, which is crazy long. Um but it's because what's off, what's different? It's because I didn't go out to the park and meditate for 40 minutes like I usually do. But I just wanted to get to work. So everyone's all like, I hear them create content, create content. I'm like, well, I created content, just nobody watches it. I'm like, I'm delivering value, dropping wisdom bombs left, right, and center. It's like, but because I'm not flashy and shiny and like, ooh, like, you know what I mean? But I guess you gotta play the game Definitely would love to up my YouTube game, but ain't nobody making money on YouTube. Maybe Stefan, that's about it. I ain't getting no million followers anytime soon, so you just gotta work on the thousand followers because you take a long game approach to building your personal brand and your business. It's not just instant gratification, what everyone thinks. Like, they're just like, it's, it's annoying me to this point. It's like, uh, it's like, okay, I might start thinking stuff like when I start talking like that, that's when I get paid. Like I'm not here to like consult you and give you all my information. You just take it and just shit on it. Don't pay me anything. You know what I mean? Like I need to eat too. And people are, uh, I know the corporate world or whatever, it's pretty pointed, a little too pointed. And so that's why I'm going in the opposite direction with apprentices. And the trade-off was the, the knowledge and experience I have just oozing out of me. So instead of wasting it, it'll go into those guys. And those guys can just, like, they get my software access for it. And they get to learn up these skills and learn about the internet economy and learn high-income skills and get customers and make money in affiliate marketing. And that's how it works. <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about. Yeah, because I just want people who want to get to work. That's it. I don't... Like, I can show you how to make the money and generate. It's not, it's not new to generate the revenue. It's just work. 
And if you don't have money, there is another way to do it, but it's not like you got to follow the process because the apprentice lost three and a half weeks of work, good work. Boom, lost it because he got greedy. He wanted to send more emails per hour to the IP and he didn't follow what I told him to. <laughs> I told you, send this many IPs per hour. And he did it for the first two weeks. And then the third week, he didn't do it. He tried to do something on his own. <laughs> so, so yeah, and then, uh, so that's the, so one of the things on the email side is, um, I'll tell you guys right now if you're listening, for sure, uh, you're gonna make, you gotta build an email list organically, 10,000 people. And you can make 2K a day. You're making Benji's at that point. And then if you can build that, that's when you spend ads into your funnel and boom, just like blow up. Blow up. Yeah, so one of the things out of the, out of the Bible from the, the, the good word is don't waste your pearls on the swine. And I do that a lot. I do that a lot. But I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I don't really hang out with people because what they got and whatever. But it's clear to me that <clears throat> just notice what I said earlier about uh, pattern recognition. So watch. Um, notice low-income conversation, high-income conversation. Just your surroundings. And I'm recognizing, oh, this is low-income conversation. Oh, this is low-income conversation. Oh, this is low. Oh, there's no high income conversation. What is going on? That's the problem. And people don't want to talk about money because nobody has any and everybody's broke and everybody's just like, And when I say everybody, I just mean more people are broke than not more people. All right? Just got to remember, I'm an international guy. So, like, I have know people all over the world. And for a long time, too. Not just, this didn't, didn't just happen yesterday. <laughs> and people are like, do you use Zoom? I was like, what? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> you're, te you're, te you're like the... The guy trying to teach me how to use computers I was like, dude, nah. So yeah, and uh, another thing is, but so if that's the thing with me in my situation, right? And that's why I'm creating these contents and stuff because I'm in like a city. I don't know. I don't know anyone here. I knew one guy, White Mike. I used to smoke weed with him in the park and you now he blocked me on Facebook. <laughs> it's just like I just saw him like a couple weeks ago we were talking <laughs> so but yeah and I don't know anyone here uh Wiley it's low in low income conversation and two my neighbors here they're they're uh computer guys so it's interesting to have computer conversations because like buddy works at Salesforce another guy works at another company and honestly it's relatable it's not so, so much about make money make money but where's the high income conversation in my life? There's no high income conversation in my life. So for me, it makes sense for me to have um, clients, but I'm not gonna go stop what I'm doing and go chase out clients and I'm not doing that. I don't chase clients, clients come to me. They always have because they've seen the, just they like my tenacity, they like my authenticity and I'm an expert, a real one. Not just some guy that says he's an expert and then isn't really an expert in anything. And there's the saying where the, um, the guy uh, that speaks too much or whatever is not that good. No, not the case. <laughs> not the case with me. I'm just spitting wisdom and truth. And so for any kind of like whatever, I'm like, I'm. you make your perceptive judgment of me, but I'm just bringing truth, right? And the truth is truth. I just man, can't really like argue or defeat the truth. And that's the cool thing about bringing uh, a CPA 
is they bring next level professionalism man, with f numbers that like most people's brains don't even understand. And so having these skills like martial arts skills, my skills to like destroy people with my hands and feet and whatever I choose. And uh, like accounting and then computers, um, these are all things people don't see. And so for me, it kind of makes me feel devalued or whatever. But then I'm like a convertible BMW. That's okay. <laughs> so it makes up for that. Okay, we'll wrap it up here soon. Um, but I wanted to say, uh, yeah, so I'm in this city. I don't know anyone too, guys. So like th as more as time goes on, like I'm ahead of the curve here, leading edge. I'm a little late to the party or whatever, but I'm ahead of the curve. I've been working from home for seven years. And the last two years, like I I've stripped everyone out of my life basically and it's just been me all me so if you're gonna you're gonna make it to the be a successful entrepreneur you're gonna go through this phase that i'm in right now i call it the foxhole man you just go into the foxhole and if i gotta stay in here another five years to get this money machine going so be it but it's not gonna take that long i used to think like that like a more like long term, like over 30 years from now, we'll get to it or something. You know what I mean? Um, but no, uh, you want to find a faster way. And so for me, the powerhouse method, again, back to the deal, I'm going to put it on Hoped in Media and pay people $333 to make a conversion. And I'm going to give you a link. Like, I don't care what content you use. Maybe I should use certain content. Like, maybe I'll tell them to like go on my like say this video, for example, go through, edit some stuff out of here that was good, cut all the stuff that was crap, and then throw that for ads and, and then see if we get sales. So that way it promotes me. They get money and a decent amount of money too because a lot of these, and it's gotta be a good offer. So that's the thing with, with my experience. My experience is a good offer with the, the powerhouse method. It's not a course, it's an apprenticeship, okay? We're not doing courses here, bud. We're doing apprenticeships, we're doing work. This is where like results happen. So then you're not sitting here doing theory. You're doing completing tasks. You're working, getting shit done, and you're leveling up. And you will develop new neural pathways. That's automatic. I can guarantee you that. Guarantee you that. Develop new neural pathways. And that's the cool thing about uh, doing this mind uh, muscle training, like hacking your mind. I don't, don't say hack. I don't like that. It's, it makes you sound like nefarious. Like, no, it's just you're working your mind muscle. <laughs> and so I'm kind of glad we I did this because it got pretty deep here and uh, this creative stuff came out and I'm glad it did. So I hope you can benefit from this. Uh, I know you can benefit from this. It's not like... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you got any accounting uh, problems or anything, give me a call. For sure, I'll take care. I'll take care. I'd like to do your year end work uh, too. That's just a function of manual labor for me. It's not like if it's one of these things for you. It's like, oh, I need to trust this guy with my books. And when I was like, dude, I've got like fifteen years experience doing this, right? So it's like it's pretty tic tac toe for me. That's why I don't focus on accounting clients because I'm just like everyone has an a client. Most people can't even afford me, and it's just boring. It's just boring. It's just paperwork. So I like to do it the other way. I, I'm, I, the last two years, and then we'll wrap it up, is I've been trailing really hard, I think three years, to push myself in a position where all I do is revenue-producing activities. I just want to go on sales mode. But what I just learned from Alex Becker was um, – yeah, there's a – I can't remember exactly what he said, but there's a two-part process. Like there's – a. A business, the guy like me, makes the product, okay? And then other people sell his product. But there isn't anyone that does both where they makes the product, then sells the product. And I thought that's what I was going to do. But why not just like give 33% away for a salesperson because they need to eat too. They're going to be incentivized to make this high value sale and the, it's a good offer. And it's unique content. Like, it's going to convert. I'm telling you, this is how the internet works. <laughs> so, like, yeah, so a lot, that, that's the thing. A lot of my people in my life, it's, um, they're not, 
they're not relatable, right? So I'm kind of cut off from energy that way, but not really. I just go on IRC, talk to Linux guys, or post on Facebook now. Like, I mean, the times have changed. Ever since COVID, times have changed. People are going to want to work from home. Like 200 years from now, the people will probably work from home because it makes sense. So... Yeah. Yeah, and just because we're deeper, I'll say a couple things. Is like, so my journey, uh, some of the painful lessons, is uh, so it's been tough on the internet, right? Like the stuff that I do is not easy, and so I was like, okay, let's go get a job. So I did the whole go get a job thing. But what does go get a job mean? It's like you. Here's the deal: you apply to a hundred places. And you actually have to care, like apply to give it some thought. So it's a whole different flow, right? It just takes like a, a, a lot of flow for me. Um, you'll get one job out of 100 applications. Then you start the job. There's three month probation. And that's the most stressful time. Like, are you in or are you out? And, and so for me, the past three times in a row, uh, it didn't work out within the first three months. So then uh, then COVID happens, and then I'm just like, what the fuck this? Like, this is terrible. I've been on the right path the whole time. I've been sitting on a gold mine for the past seven years. Like, I need help with my business. I need people to, like, start talking to me like I'm a business owner, not like... I don't know, maybe too much family time, maybe. Uh, but everywhere to go in this city is weird. It, just, it costs money. You got to be a part of some club. It's like, I want to be in a part of your club, dude. I want to talk business. Like, what's up? Let's bro down. Let's have a good time. I don't, you're not putting me in some hierarchy club. Like, no thanks. It's like, you can pay me to come to your club. I'm a professional. But it doesn't work like that. Well, it should in my, my case. I'm a professional uh, MMA fighter and, and an artist. <laughs> I can honky-tonk. You know what I mean? Can you honky-tonk? Ask someone that. <laughs> hey, if you're, if you're ever getting fresh with someone, just ask them, uh, excuse me, sir, can you honky-tonk? <laughs> See what he says. Okay, yeah, okay, guys. I really enjoyed this podcast, and I hope to do uh, this video. I hope to do more, and... Uh, yeah, dude, need some help. My YouTube game sucks. <laughs>